It's desirable if the mains voltage is constant and unvarying, but this is not usually the case. If you're testing products for sale, then they must pass international EMC safety standards. We get what's called power line abnormalities, and they come in several forms. Power outage, where the mains drops to zero for a period. Voltage increases, where the voltage goes above the expected value, called surges or pops. And voltage drops, where the mains drops below the nominal value, called dips, and it's in extreme circumstances, brownouts. The PCR LE from Kikasui is an AC-DC power supply that can simulate all of these. It comes in 500 watts, 1 kilowatt, up to 9 kilowatt sizes for single phase input and a lot higher for three phase inputs. With outputs of 1 to 300 volts, AC, DC, 1 hertz to 1 kilohertz, with a very high purity of waveform, this unit can be used for overseas mains voltages, 115 volts, 60 hertz for the USA and 400 hertz for aircraft equipment testing. A wide range of variation is possible around the normal voltages and frequencies. We've set this PCR 500 LE up to demonstrate these effects. A power outage happens when the mains goes away completely, a power failure. We've simulated this in the first test and chosen the worst moment for it to happen and to come back at the peak voltage. The phase angle can be set by you and all the parameters are very easily adjustable. You can either do a one-shot test or repeat it over and over again, as we're going to do here. Now, we set this up as follows. Our base voltage, the voltage we're going to base the test on, let's pretend we're in the States, 115 volts, frequency 60 hertz. That's the base setting. We then do the simulation where we set up the various parameters Edit. Now these, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, T, T1 to T5. These are parameters. They're all in the documentation, but I'll tell you briefly what they are. T1 is the phase angle that the power goes away at. Now we're going to set that to the worst case, 90 degrees. There we are. T2 is the transition from full power to zero. We want it to be a sudden failure, so we'll set T2 to zero. T3 is the time that powers off for. Arbitrary figure there, we'll, we'll put something in 66.5 milliseconds, say. T4 is the transition back from zero to full power. We want that to be zero and sudden, so we'll set T4 to be zero. T5 is the time the test runs before it recycles. So let's set that to, say, 100 milliseconds. So I think we're all nearly set up now. One more thing, the T3 voltage, that's the voltage during a failure that the mains dips to. In this case, it dips to nothing, so T3, we set it there, it's already set to zero. Let's run the test. Output on, and on the scope now, you can see the base waveform. That's 115 volts RMS at 60 hertz. Start the test, lo and behold, there we see, the, at the peak of the cycle, the mains drops to zero, stays low for an arbitrary time that we set, 66 milliseconds, then comes back, runs again for the T4, T5 time, and then drops, the cycle repeats. So that's the first test, a voltage drop. The next test shows a voltage surge, and we've recorded the parameters on this memory stick. So we recall those as follows, pretty simple process. The simulation and it's the second one down it's the pop we'll, we'll load that all ready to go except now to make it the effect more dramatic we'll set the base voltage lower we had 115 let's set it to uh, 40 volts now just just to emphasize the effect okay ready to go output on there's the base voltage now a bit smaller at 40 volts run there's the surges coming And if I stop the scope and expand it slightly, there you are. There's, there's the ramp up, the, the time at the surge value, ramp down, time at the base value. There we are, that's a voltage increase or pop or surge. And finally, let's do a voltage dip or a sag as it's sometimes called. We've got a program for that too.
It's the third one and it's called, believe it or not, Dip. Load. It's ready to go, but I think what we should do is, is set the base voltage higher now, otherwise it, it won't, won't actually show very much. So we set the base voltage to, I imagine, 115 would be good. There we are, ready to run. Output on, there's our 115 base voltage. Run the simulation. And there's the dips, repeating over and over again. I'll stop that so you can zero in on it. There's the dip, there's the, the base voltage, dip, base voltage. That's it, voltage sag using PCR 500 LE. If you want any more information on these units, give us a call, Telonic Instruments, 0800-2000-2000.